Hi everyone, welcome back to Taya's Travel Tips. So today I'm going to be talking about what you can cook in a hotel room that does not have a stove. So most of the hotel rooms have a microwave and a refrigerator now. Most of them. Um, the only ones that have a stove and a bigger refrigerator are normally the extended stay ones which you don't get as many in amenities sometimes their price can be more uh, for short stays and you just lose out on some of the things that you get a hotel for like them to come in every day and do a little quick vacuum or you know you go uh, they bring towels for you and you don't have to deal with that or they take the trash out anyway so uh, at normal hotels like Spring Hill Suites um, La Quinta um, God, they're all leaving my mind now, Mo Motel 6, um, any of the regular hotels. Some of them you can have six people in. I've had six in a Spring Hill Suites, so that's good for a larger family. But specifically today we're going to be talking about microwavable meals. So, number one, be prepared. You might have to cook a little at home to be able to save some money while you're, while you're on vacation or while you're traveling. Something you can do is microwave baked potatoes. Poke them with a couple of holes. You're going to have to buy the butter and all that, whatever you would like in there. Um, if you want meat, you can also get the microwavable tubs of barbecue sauce or barbecue uh, meat. That's something that's easily microwavable. Now, um, I've seen some noodle package packets, packages, whatever, that are microwavable. They come um, from like Bertoli or something like that and they're microwave them for a couple of minutes and you just put sauce over them which is really good for kids because my little kids love pasta so warm up some noodles throw on a little thing of sauce that's a great meal for them also if you brown hamburger meat ahead of time you could do tacos you could do nachos and even if it's unseasoned so if you wanted a, just a versatile, just hamburger meat, like ground hamburger or browned hamburger meat, you could then split it up into multiple things. You could have tacos, nachos. You could do um, like a not a hamburger, but like put it on a bun, then melt some cheese over it, and you got pretty much a hamburger. Um, you could do chili dogs. You could do um, those microwavable mac and cheese cups. Kids love hot pockets. Um, hot pockets little cans of like ravioli um ramen pizzas you could do small pizzas in the microwave <sighs> what else cereal yogurt microwavable breakfast sandwiches um i'm trying to think of all the other ones that i had floating through my brain you could do like a sausage and peppers the sausage just needs to be warmed up if you cut it ahead of time that'll save you a step at the hotel one less thing to pack um if you sauteed some onions and blood peppers you could throw with that you could do they have microwavable fajita meat you could do something like that so the hardest thing is going to be staying away from just bulk large raw meats like you're not gonna be able to cook a steak um tupperware does have a container i'm not i don't i don't do tupperware but um my mom did it a while back um but if you get tupperware sometimes they give you things um, like if you sign up and one of the things that was really expensive that they gave you was a container you could microwave a chicken in now I haven't used that I used I've seen it at a Tupperware party but that's about it but that's something you can also use um, you could do pizzas you could do like build it yourself pizzas on a tortilla with like some sauce and some cheese and whatever um, cooked toppings you wanted like uh, pepperonis good to be eaten at any temperature uh, so, like the little ground sausage crumbles are good but just steer clear of anything like a bell pepper a bell pepper is not going to cook in the microwave long enough um, what else also don't be afraid to get one thing from somewhere like if you have a barbecue place nearby you could go get barbecue like just the meat and then you could do sides with you they have microwavable packets for rice that you just microwave the whole packet if you bring a bowl and you don't mind waiting most of the rice packages like rice aroni nah, yeah rice aroni or um any of that kind of thing like spanish rice in a bag you need a bowl maybe a lid and you could microwave it i'm trying to think 
what else we 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 have done um anyway but yeah just be prepared if you want to bring food and you're traveling and say you want to make beef tips you can microwave rice and that's not a big deal so you make beef tips at home i would freeze it flat in a gallon baggie and seal it and then you just brought yourself an ice pack um so then when you get there it's probably going to be thawed so just stick it in the refrigerator also make sure the refrigerator is cold enough for food or milk or whatever you're bringing cereal is also something good totally bouncing off everything here cereal is also good sandwiches are good they have um fully cooked ballpark hamburgers i'm sure there's other brands but that's the one we normally use they taste really good and they're fully cooked so you just gotta warm them up there's also hamburgers in the frozen section sam's carries um costco probably carries them in a big box you probably get like 10 for 15 or 16 dollars uh, maybe maybe 17 for some of them anyway but then your sandwich is good to go um i know sam's are really good they um the burger one is just plain like just a burger but the Chicken one tastes like Chick-fil-A um, chicken sandwiches. Um, don't forget to make a list of the condiments or sides or anything that you normally have at home that you might not have at your hotel. You're going to have to bring salt and pepper, especially if you don't stay at an extended stay hotel. So if you stay at just like a Marriott or like the Spring Hill Suites, that's the one we went to last time, um, or what we're going to soon. I have a video of it up uh, when we go. It's going to be in a couple weeks. But uh, we're going to Kalahari, and they're going to... This is why I'm thinking about all this stuff, is because we are going there to Kalahari in Round Rock. I'm so excited. Anyway, um, so just things like that. Um, bring snacks for your kids. Your kids, especially if it's not something you normally have at home, like if you... If they never have the Easy Mac, get them the little Easy Macs. You're saving money. And they get something they don't they don't normally get. Um, anyway, always for us, for me, I always overpack. I'm always an overpacker. So if you bring something, be prepared to take it home. Make sure you have a good cooler. This is when you invest in a good cooler. So if you're going for a week, your week's worth of food is not going to fit inside that little dorm style refrigerator. Um, so you're gonna need a cooler. Or you're going to need multiple trips to the store and you don't have the option of being prepped on some things. Um, something, please do not do this. If your hotel room says no cooking, that means no extra appliances. That means do not bring your Instapot. That means do not bring your Crock-Pot. That is something that they frown upon. Because I see people like, oh, I'll just bring my Instapot. If the, if the room is not set up to be cooked in, if it does not have like a stove or something, they don't like that. I'm not saying you couldn't get away with it. I'm not saying that it hasn't been done. But I was going to Kalahari. And in a couple months, I'm planning on going to Great Wolf. Um, and they specifically say no cooking. So I wouldn't bring anything smelly. Because... They might charge you to get that smell out of there. Someone else is going to have to rent this room. So um, I would steer clear of the like super heavy smells like um, something Indian or anything like that. Be careful. And if you have a question, call the hotel. Not the 1-800 number. Call the actual place that you're going and be like, hey, I was wanting to cook something in a crock pot. I was wanting to bring my Instapot. Some might not have a problem with it, but I know Great Wolf specifically says no cooking. No cooking. We're still going to cook. Not like cook with appliances. We're going to microwave some stuff. But they mean like no grilling, no bringing your Instapot, no bringing your crock pot. Some of that is probably because they want you to eat there. Other things is probably because... If you cook, especially on something like that, you're more likely to make a mess. Anyway, so, make sure you are prepared. If you need to cut something up, make sure you bring a knife. Make sure you bring a cutting board. If you're going to eat there, make sure you bring paper plates. Or, if you want to pack the, the reusable plates, pack the reusable plates. Bring silverware. Bring uh, bigger bowls to microwave, you know, if you want to make rice, to microwave the rice in. 
if you want to bring um, your beef tips or something that you can that can be frozen pasta can be frozen and just warmed up um, anyway but be prepared make a list it is going to save you anyway see you next time on Taya's travel tips